Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is a Sunday morning vlog. So first of all, I need to give a shout out to Juan and JMAA Music. You should check out his YouTube channel and his own Patreon campaign. Now Juan is funding me through my Patreon campaign, so big thanks and thanks to all my other patrons. So have a look at his YouTube channel. There's some quite interesting music, which I assume he's composed. And don't forget that Patreon campaign. So I wanted to make a short video, which is mainly what this vlog is about, about um, the latching system in Iron Man's suit, which I built a while ago. So um, originally with my arm pieces, these are fairly well worn now, you can see all the paint scuffs on them after several events. Um, the original plan with these was um, not to have any sort of shoulder latch for the upper arm, because basically you can't reach it um, when you've got the chest plate on and all those things and with the arms on, so you can't reach your opposite shoulder to do it up and undo it. Um, so what I decided to do in these was put this clever mechanism in, which means the arm opens, you can put your arm in, and then you can basically um, latch this thing up at the bottom and it grabs your arm, and then hopefully it stays on there. Um, and it seemed okay, I've done several events with it, and it is okay, mostly, apart from about three hours after wearing the suit when the, the arm has slipped down a bit and you, and you really can't push it up. And if you've got the hands on, they're really smooth and slippery, so you can't even push up here. And if you do, you tend to find the undersuit just rides up with it and then it slips down again straight away. So what we really need is some means of attaching these on at the shoulder. But obviously we've still got that issue, which is you can't touch your opposite shoulder, so you need someone else to help you do it and someone else to help you get out of it. Uh, with this mechanism, I can just reach here and then I can just take it off, uh, which seemed quite good. So um, the basic idea is that we have some sort of latch at the shoulder, which latches onto this part, but we have a release mechanism at the other end. So we can kind of put the arm on and hook it on um, and then somehow we can get it off without having to reach up here by pressing a button or pulling a cable or something at the bottom in the cuff. So, um, looking at the rest of the suit, most of the other pieces are held together with bungees on hooks, which are okay because you can reach them, but most of those, for instance, in the abdominals are down inside the armour, so it's still really hard to reach them. So basically we could do with a mechanism somewhere, or for, or for lots of these pieces that holds them together, and it's really easy to get apart with just release buttons or something like that. So quite a few people like to give me ideas for my projects, like Hulkbuster, and the next part is coming up on Tuesday. So I decided what I'd do is start a Facebook group a while ago called Group Projects. And one of the group projects, there's three of them in total, one of them is designing latching mechanisms for a suit of armour, whether it's Iron Man or anything else. So I wanted to give an update on that. Several people have um, put some ideas in the group and I just wanted to show what's happened, and I've also 3D printed some prototypes of those ideas. So here is the group projects group. Um, there's a big rules posting at the top, which you must read, which has the initial video I made about the group, and it has lots of information about the project. And this group is only for these projects. So you can see there's some here for the concept idea project, and there's various other things here about how you would design a logo for your own brand, which is one of the projects. And then we've got some ideas here for the latching system, um, as well as some sketches and some other things. If you want to discuss something else that isn't one of these group projects, there is another group called X Robots General Discussion. That has all sorts of uh, things in there, discussions on 3D printing, there's some stuff about um, moulding and casting, some other 3D printed models and things and cosplays that people have made. So that's the general discussion group, which is for any, any type of discussion. So going back to the group projects group, in the photo section you'll find several people have uploaded some pictures for various parts of the group projects. There's actually three photo albums. If we go into the third photo album, we can find that there's various ideas here for the latching mechanism. So these have been submitted by members of the group. Um, so there's several sketches um, which Wesley has drawn here and also Gareth has submitted some ideas um, and one of these ideas was a kind of latch that's a bit like a gate latch and so there's some other things there around using a seatbelt mechanism. There's another sketch here from Peter um, about how that could work and how you could release it remotely with a cable. I took a couple of these ideas and I've tried to recreate something similar in real life, um, obviously paying attention to what will actually work and so on. And these are 3D printed, but they don't have to be. They could made of, be made of other materials, um, so the parts don't look like much, but we'll have a look in um, to see what they look like in real life in a second. So there's the first one, which is a bit like the gate latch, um, but I've considered how the uh, 
basically the shoulder would latch in and then be released. And this is the second one, which is a bit like the idea where there was a rotating piece, which I think was inspired by self-assembly furniture. So I'm going to upload these files to the group. They're done in Autodesk 123D Design, which is free software. So if you want to have a go at changing them and editing them or having some other ideas, you can join the group, get hold of the files, make some modifications and upload them again and everyone can discuss it. Here they are, so I've printed these out and um, attempted to assemble them. Let's have a look at this one first. So what we've got is... Um, a peg with a washer on which fits into a groove so if we just pop that out so the aim would be that one of these would be attached to the bicep or another part of the suit um, and the other one would be attached to a strap or something like that so um, basically this thing can latch in it could actually be that way up so this could be attached to the strap and this is the bicep so your bicep can hook on to the strap which holds it and then we've got this release, so basically you would pull a cable or uh, something that would operate this, which would then allow this piece to escape. So you can basically hook your bicep on and then release it remotely so you can unhook it. Um, so the problem with a simple hook that just hooks it on and lifts it off is that you need something flexible, so uh, the peg would have to be on a flexible strap so you can move your shoulder around which means that if you try and unhook this, it's uh, likely the strap would just ride up with the hook and it would be really hard to unhook. So that's why we need the extra release mechanism so that it comes off in the same direction. So I'm not saying this is totally ideal, but it's one of the ideas. There could be uh, more of a peg and a, a latch like the gate latch, but the problem is it has to be quite slim line so that you know this can be um, fitted into the top of the bicep here and you can still actually get your arm in. So that's why I've made this quite flat and it's probably still a bit too bulky. Uh, perhaps this goes higher up underneath the shoulder bell or something like that. So that's that one. Uh, the second one is the mechanism which um, rotates. So the aim is we've got this peg that fits into a groove. Let's just get that out, which is a bit too small really. Um, but similarly, this one will latch in so you can put the mechanism down onto this and that will hold it so it doesn't come out um, but then to release it you basically turn this so this thing will turn round and I had a little pulley here so that I could perhaps pull this down with a cable so it's the other way up and then the peg can lift out so that basically you can lift this thing off um, this would work fairly well it could be servo driven as well if you wanted to make it electronic um, and this could also be in another aspect of the suit where there's a knob you turn, like the hip pod, for instance. This could be used to actually lock the hips or the thighs onto the pelvis piece by actually turning it. Um, this thing isn't particularly ideal. It doesn't fit in the groove very well. I guess it would work OK. It probably needs to be a bit more substantial. Of course, it could be another thing that's quite a lot bigger than actually fits behind, or this whole thing could be made bigger with something more substantial. So as I say, these are 3D printed. They don't have to be 3D printed. You could make similar mechanisms out of sheet material. And I've put the files in the group if you want to have a go at editing them and resubmitting them and or anything else. So you don't have to do it in CAD. You could draw a picture on paper or you could make a model out of any material or find what you can from around the house. As you'll know if you've been watching my Hulkbuster series, I've been building the suit out by doing 3D printed frame parts and then putting panels onto them. So there's some new parts on the shoulders here which have a hidden feature, which are in Tuesday's video, so watch out for that. But it struck me that it'd be really good to do a normal size suit that's made in the same way. So having 3D printed frame parts with all the latching system on and then putting the flesh on top of them so it's built the same way an actual Iron Man suit would be built sort of mechanically from the inside out. So if we can get all of these latching things designed, then basically we could design a new type of suit or it could be used in other armour. So I don't really have any time for any more projects, as you know, and that's why it's a group project, so I'd really like you to participate. One of the questions I get asked quite a lot is how do I fund all my projects? So how do I pay for all the 3D printer filament and all of the other materials I use to build Hulkbuster, my 3D printed Alien Xenomorph project and my 3D printed R2-D2? How do I afford to do it and produce all these videos? And the answer is that I'm actually funded by my super fans on Patreon.com. So have a look at Patreon.com slash xrobots. Basically, people fund me an amount for every video I make, or at least the main build videos, but you can cap that amount to a smaller amount per month. 
So the minimum to get some of the rewards would be $1 per month. So you set it up for $1 per video and cap that to $1 per month. And you can fund me for more if you'd like to, like Juan, who I gave a shout out to at the beginning. There's some other rewards for promoting your stuff and various other things. So my goal is to try and build X Robots into a production company making excellent content, even more excellent content, funded by the people who really want to watch it. One of the rewards you can get for $1 a month is access to my regular live broadcast. In those live broadcasts, starting with the one I did a couple of weeks ago, I'm actually going to be doing some exclusive content, building some exclusive projects, and then I'm going to give those away to a random patron at the end of the project build. And all of that stuff is going to happen in live broadcast, so you can interact with me while I do it. The broadcasts are about an hour long, and I'm hoping to be doing them at least once a month. So if you haven't already, check out patreon.com slash xrobots where you can get access to that live broadcast and some other rewards. All right, so that's all I've got for this broadcast. Don't forget to check out my Facebook groups. And remember, the group projects group is just for the group projects and the general discussion group is for anything.